Hey everybody, James Jacob with Town Response. Thanks for watching. <gasps> oh no, a pistol caliber carbine. Um, so, pistol caliber carbines are at an uh, all time high in popularity. And uh, I have said many times that putting a long barrel on this does not make it a rifle. Okay, and so I'm, I, I stick by that. That does not make it a rifle. I was an advocate of police, uh, police pistol caliber carbines for police back in the 90s because they didn't want to let us have want to let us have AR-15s things like this um like the Marlin Camp carbine and things like that though these looked uh didn't look intimidating and stuff like that and while it wasn't a rifle most police officers can't shoot very well that's not me being mean that is the absolute truth and this would have increased the hit potential of those officers and but as soon as, as soon as Columbine happened in 99 it just Overnight, it was instantly okay to have a rifle as a police officer. So the window for police uh, using pistol caliber carbines was pretty narrow. Now, this is with the exception of MP5s and the Colt sub guns were used for SWAT and stuff like that. As soon as those guys got the go ahead, boom, they went to they went to the same thing. They did the same thing. Uh, most of the time, they switched out when they their department went to 40. Um, so this is the Ruger. Uh, I about said PC9, but. It's a PC carbine, and uh, pretty neat. Comes with the rail on top, and this is the uh, the takedown. I don't know if they make another version. Fluted barrel and threaded for a can. What? What advanced armament? <laughs> this is the tie rant, and um, so so this is a, another reason to have a have a uh, I guess a pistol caliber carbine is to put a can on it and um, so I always, I always think I'm in the movie when I'm screwing a can on a silencer a silencer row get it straight I always feel like I'm in the movie like a spy <laughs> and uh, so this thing is actually pretty cool I've, I've just gotten it I <laughs> haven't shot it yet um, but this is it Whoa! <laughs> but uh, but I'm gonna get it out, shoot some stuff, and and play with it, and and all that stuff. And uh, and there's a there's a ton of AR-15 based um, guns out now, and things like that. And uh, don't expect to see one from Midwest Industries with that response on it. I'm not saying that, and I'm not even telling anybody to go buy one. I'm, I'm telling you that this is not a rifle. Um, well, this of course isn't a rifle. This is a, this is a can. Uh, but uh, but my thing is is this is that uh, people have them they have them in their packs their bags their trunks and things like that and uh, so I'm going to uh, we we have dedicated ourselves here at Tide Response to um, building a class around these carbines and uh, so um, so you'll be seeing a, a pistol caliber carbine class on our schedule very soon. And and so I'll tell I'll tell you folks you are welcome to take our fighting rifle class with your pistol caliber carbine. Uh, so if you if you want to do that, you're welcome to. Although nobody does. Um, so what we're going to do is this pistol caliber carbine par carbine class. That's a lot of that's a tongue twister. Um, is going to be about helping you. Uh, learn how to fight with that thing better. Not that you can't now, but help me fight with that thing better. We have some unique drills that we've come up with that are four pistol caliber carbines. Uh, and we'll talk about all kinds of stuff as far as their, their usage and deployment. And I think it'll be a lot of fun. We're only going to do like two um, in 2019, and we're going to do a couple. So if it's something interesting, you, you might want to look it up. And uh, but it'll it'll be a fun class. It'll 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 be fun, and we'll get out there. Now I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys that are shooting. These AR-15s uh, in nine millimeter. They are blowback designs, and you guys, you got you, you guys, you old SWAT guys and stuff from back in the '90s are going to be shaking your head. Yes, um, they break uh, <laughs> hammer pins constantly. So go ahead and go over to go over to Brownells and go ahead and order like like a dozen Baker's dozen of hammer pins you don't need the springs or anything else you just need the hammer pins because you get to shooting those things and they break constantly so i'm just telling you that's just a it's just something i remember from the 90s it's gonna it as these things become more popular and there's a resurgence in their uh 
and their and their use and their popularity, we're going to start seeing these old things coming back again. And so, uh, so if you guys are getting ARs that are blowback for the nine mil, go ahead and buy some hammer pants, man. <laughs> like you're like, oh, it's bullshit, blah blah blah. Then the next time you post, you be like, okay, you were right, I broke a hammer pan. That's it's just the nature of the beast. So pistol cobble carbines. Uh, what do you guys think? What do you guys know about them? What do you guys think about them? And uh, again, I know they're not a rifle. Uh, but I think I think this could be a fun project, and I, and I gotta I gotta admit, like this is a neat little gun. I mean, I've always been a fan of 1022s. I've always been a fan of takedown rifles, and so this uh, this takedown uh, carbine, pistol carbine, is pretty is pretty cool. It's pretty cool, pretty cool gun. So we'll we'll get together uh, next year. And uh, and do a couple of these classes and and see if we can ring these things out and uh, see see what uh, get get a get a uh, idea of what their true capabilities are. So if you got a pistol caliber carbine that interests you, let us know. James Jacob for that response, reminding you that your responsibility to be ready for the fight never ends.